In this study, we identified in preclinical models a mechanism by which tumors can escape anti-angiogenic therapy. Blockade of BGFA signaling with bevacizumab or with receptor tyrosine kinase inhibitors has improved progression-free survival and in some indications overall survival across several types of cancers including metastatic colorectal cancer, non-small cell lung cancer, metastatic breast cancer, renal cell carcinoma, and hepatocarcinoma. However, the clinical benefit conferred by the therapies is variable, and tumors from treated patients eventually reinitiate growth, suggesting that induction of compensatory angiogenic pathways may contribute to limiting the efficacy of anti-BGF treatment. Llegaron noticias. Ha logrado escaparse una vez más. ¿Cómo es posible? No entiendo. Si el bloqueo del BGF logró ser efectivo en numerosos casos, como el cáncer colorectal, el cáncer de pulmón, el hepatocarcinoma. Sí, pero no te olvides que en otras ocasiones logró escaparse por diferentes mecanismos. Al simplemente no responder a la terapia o al adquirir mecanismos de resistencia en respuesta al estrés inducido por la propia terapia. Mira, en los archivos tenemos evidencia que. En numerosos casos, factores de crecimiento solubles lograron ser la causa, como la interleuquina 17, el PICF, células miloides supresoras. Sí. Muchachos, lo tenemos. Hemos encontrado la causa. Al parecer, esta vez los culpables son las interacciones entre lectinas y glicanos, particularmente galectina 1, que al interactuar con N-glicanos complejos del receptor de BGF, dispara la activación de señales que llevan a la generación de nuevos vasos sanguíneos. Lo tenemos. In this study, we identified using in vitro and in vivo strategies and using preclinical models a mechanism based on the differential glycosylation of tumor associated vessels that promotes BGF like signaling and preserves angiogenesis in response to BGF blockade. In response to hypoxia, Tumor-derived collecting one binds directly to non sialylated complex and glycans localized on the immunoglobulin 3, 4, and 7 domains of BGF receptor 2 and promotes BGF-like signaling and compensatory angiogenesis. Strikingly, in tumors that are sensitive to anti-BGF treatment, Tumor-associated vessels express high amounts of alpha-2,6 sialic acid, which prevent galactin-1 binding to endothelial cells and eliminate its proangiogenic effects. In contrast, tumors that are refractory to anti-BGF secrete increased galactin-1, and their associated vasculature express higher amounts of beta-1,6 gluconac branching glycans and decrease alpha-2,6 sialylation, which are glycosylation patterns that facilitate the interaction between galactin-1 and endothelial cells. Interruption of beta-1,6 gluconac branching in endothelial cells or silencing of tumor-derived galactin-1 converted refractory into anti-BGF-sensitive tumors, whereas elimination of alpha-2,6 linked sialic acid limited the efficacy of anti-BGF treatment, at least in preclinical models. Whether the galactin-1 and glycan axis is relevant in human clinical settings still remains to be explored. Para, para. Deberíamos buscar un agente terapéutico capaz de bloquear la interacción de galectina 1 con glicanos y así atraparlo. Sí, por supuesto. Podríamos utilizar un anticuerpo bloqueante de antigalectina 1 para neutralizarlo. Vamos. In this study we report the effect of a neutralizing anti-galactin 1 antibody which prevents compensatory angiogenesis and growth in those tumors that have limited sensitivity to anti-BGF. 
Similar to other anti-angiogenic agents, the anti gallatin one antibody induces not only the typical anti-angiogenic or vessel pruning effect, but it also promotes transient remodeling or normalization of tumor-associated vasculature early after treatment. This effect contributed to alleviate tumor hypoxia and facilitated influx of immune cells into the tumor microenvironment, which expanded anti-tumor T-cell responses. In conclusion, we identified a glycosylation-based mechanism that links tumor hypoxia, BGF receptor to signaling and compensatory angiogenesis in response to BGF blockade. These findings may have clinical implications not only in cancer, but also in other pathologies involving aberrant angiogenesis, including age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinal disease, and cardiovascular diseases. Thank you very much for your attention. Muchas gracias por su atención.